Shalom to the elect of Israel. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Hero, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the one that brings joy to our hearts every day as he brings these prophecies to pass. His name is Yahweh. Shai, Shalom, Shalom to you again, beloved. Mm. Things are popping, things are jumping off the pages. Prophecies are jumping off the pages. Yes, America is looking weaker and weaker and weaker every day. The West is collapsing. And we say, Barakata Yahweh. Bahashem Yahawashai, Bahashem Rukakudash. Yesterday, America cargo, um, a ship was hit in the Red Sea by the uh, Yemeni's uh, military, also known as Houthis. Um, yes, things are happening, and uh, yeah, it is going to escalate. But again, let's begin by giving honor and glory to our power, Yahawah. Bahashem Yahawashai, Bahashem Rukakudash. Excuse me. Let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone that taught us this truth. And uh, salutation, peace to the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. Another day to lift up the name of our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, and also to comfort the elect. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, African, American, Native American, this good news is for you. You see, this is how the Lord shows his love to us and by bringing these prophecies to pass. And giving you the signs. Because Yahweh Shai told us, these are the times that we should be looking out for. Division of the nations. And eh? family says, a kingdom divided can never stand. You see, you look around you. Look at America. Look at the West. Look at all the uproar. Look at the protests that is happening all over the world. You see, we are rejoicing and we take comfort in seeing all these things. Because we know that our, our redemption draweth nigh. And our fortunes are about to be changed by our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. He is coming to show us mercy, Yahweh Ratazah. And now, family, again, if I didn't say it, I shall warm to you. The apple of the Lord's eyes, okay? The elect, it's all about the elect. We could care less about the rest of our family members that are not taking heed. Unless they repent, family, we all about the elect. Yahweh Shai says what? They that do the will of my wa, my father, they are what? My brothers and sisters. Let me see if I can get that. Mm -hmm. They are my brothers and Sisters, let me see if I can find you. How wish I said it in Matthew? Is it Matthew? They that do the will. Is it sorry? What is it? Please bear with me. I just want to bring that out. Please bear with just pop in my spirit and I gotta bring it because we are like I said, it's all about the elect. How wish I specifically said what well, for his elect's sake, he's gonna cut the time short, right? Please bear with me. He said, They that do the will of. Now, the will of my father. Yeah, Matthew. Yes, Matthew, Matthew 12, uh, 50. Please, let's get it. Let's get it quickly. And uh, just so you know that, listen, it's not about your blood brother or your blood sister. Eh? It's the ones that do the will of the Lord. Eh? Taking heed to this message, believing in our King, the Redeemer of Israel, uh, wow, my brothers and my sisters. If you don't take heed to this word here, uh -uh, you are not my brother and you are not my sister. That's simple. All right. So here, let's go. I think it's Yahweh Shai that said it. Yes, Yahweh Shai said it. It says here, uh, let's go back here. It says, while he said, sorry, while he yet talked to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without, eh? desiring to speak with him. They are looking up. They want to talk to him, but they don't know how to approach him. And then here, then one said unto him, behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, that told him, who is my mother and who is my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand towards his disciples and said, Behold, 
my mother, and my brethren. Eh? For whosoever shall do the will of my father, Yahweh, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Are you listening to this? These are not my words. These are the word of what? Our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Mm? The family, the precept that I would like to open the lesson up with. Obviously, I didn't do it, but we, we, let's go there quickly. The book of Thessalonians. Eh? The uh, Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. We're going to open it up. Verse, uh, chapter 5. Let's go right at it. It says, but of the times and the seasons. Brethren, eh? the one doing the will of the Lord. Eh? You are my brother. You are my sister. You are my mother. That's why right, taking heed to this message. The elect. That's all we are concerned about, the elect. But, but of the times and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Because why? You are watching. You are praying. You are doing the will of the Lord. You are actually looking forward to seeing your king as these prophecies come to pass. You have cast this world behind you. You are looking, looking, eh? doing everything that when Yahweh shows up, you are good to go. Eh? It says here, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. But you, uh -uh, it shouldn't come as a thief in the night. Because what? You are watching. You are watching the doors. Eh? You are ready. You are ready. You are the wise virgin. Are you listening to this? Eh? It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape it. Eh? The peace of safety is going to come in the form of also a microchip, Revelation 13, 16. Eh? Because this system has to collapse for the new system to be introduced, which is what? The reset. But we know that the Lord is going to put a monkey wrench into their plans. All right? He said, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness. Huh? Again, you are watching. You have your lamp trim. You are looking around, walking circumspectly. Eh? You see, he said, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day, what day? The day of the Lord should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, eh? because you have this word in you. You were picked before the foundation of the earth and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Sober with what? The right doctrine. Not plantation Christianity, not Allah, Buddha, eh? not somebody telling you that you can't worship your Hawashai. The last time I checked, he's the one coming. The last time I checked, he's the one that went on the cross. Eh? That's right. He's the one paid for our sins. That's, that's why we were able to call upon the name Yahweh. Without Yahweh shy sacrifice, mm -mm, we have no access to our power Yahweh. So yeah, we worship Yahweh shy. You better believe it. And we can't wait to see him face to face and personally say, Tawada, and thank him. And that's what we are looking forward to. Family, and I hope this message find you in perfect peace. As you can see, I'm trying to get this one to translate, but it's not. It's not translating. But literally, fam, this happened a few hours ago. Yes, this is a United States uh, cargo ship. And it was hit a few hours ago in the middle. It's on fire right now. And we know that why it is going to escalate. Let me see. Haltena actually, Haltena also spoke about this. Let me see. Uh, oh, I thought I had this up. Let me see here. But several websites are already talking about it. Um, let me go to... Please bear with me. Let me bring out. I thought I had it up. Oh, yes. This one here. Yes. Yeah, so, this is the ship. It says updated at 11.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, January 15th. That's today. It said the Yemenis fired an anti-ship ballistic missile and hit the American container ship M slash V Gibraltar Eagle. The ship is reportedly burning at, at this hour. Below is a photo, proof, a photo of the Gibraltar Eagle. Eh? So family... Oh, 
Oh shoot, I was gonna sneeze. Please so, excuse me. It's a lot here. Um let's get let's start from the top, family. So as you can see, this thing is burning. It's on fire. And this is the what is it called? The Greek um World News 24-7 also reported it. Alright, so the Red Sea is heating up. It is heating up because that's where the main, what is it called? Uh, the main, uh, what is it called? War, the Third World War is going to take place. It is the Lord. Eventually, is going to bring all this nation into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And let's open, let's go to the book of Joel uh, chapter 2 verse 20. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, which is what America, and, and will drive them into a land barren and desolate. That is why the Middle East, eh, with his face towards the East Sea and his hinder part towards the outmost sea, and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. Here, this is, this is the, that's right, this is the East Sea. This is the, the land bearing. That's Saudi Arabia. This is the Valley of Jehoshaphat. This is where Armageddon is going to take place. So it's not coincident that all these ships are being hit right here. This is Yemen. Eh? This is the Red Sea. Okay. This is the East. Eh? This is the East. Uh, it says what? The East. Uh, what, what is it? Joel says the East Sea and the Endermost, right? And will drive him in the land barren, which is Saudi Arabia, and desolate with his face towards the East Sea. Okay. Let's look up the map again. This is the East Sea and this is the Endermost, which is going to be the Red. But the nations are going to be gathered here for Yahweh's judgment. Yahweh. That's right. Yehoshaphat, okay, that's what it means, Yahweh has judged, okay, this is where they're all going to be judged, and that's where everything is leading to, hmm? so family, we are rejoicing, when we see these articles, it brings joy to our heart, and they say U.S. has searched deployment, this is coming from Hal Tennis radio show also, let's read a bit here, it says here, the United States has searched deployment of the USS Theodore Roosevelt career strike group to the Middle East. The U.S. Navy appears to have ordered the search deployment of the USS Theodore Roosevelt and the remainder of Carrier Strike Group N9, sorry, 9CSG-9, which departed from Naval Base in Naval Base San Diego on Friday, heading towards the Western Pacific. Okay, so this is why, because what? Taiwan just won the election. No, they just had an election. And I think pro-Western candidate won the election, right? And China said, uh-uh, we're still going to take over Taiwan. So things are heating up across what, uh, pa uh, the Pacific and then across what, uh, what is it called? Uh, a, uh, the Middle East, a.k.a. Uh, sorry, the Middle East is also, it's, it's actually the actual, the proper name for the Middle East is West Asia family. But just for the for edification's sake, we said uh, Middle East. So, you know, maybe new listeners will know what we're talking about. When we say we don't want to confuse, this thing here is supposed to make sense. We don't want to confuse anybody. But the actual name for the so-called Middle East is West Asia. Okay? All right. So let's continue here. So as you can see, Babylon, the great America, the West family, they are broke. America is 34 plus, And that's the only, that's the numbers that we know. $34 trillion in debt. Okay, nothing, nothing is working anymore. Society is collapsing, family. And this is what the Lord is doing. America wasn't built to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to be here forever. It's not an empire that was supposed to last forever. No, America was just created. So the northern and the southern tribe will be brought, the children of Israel, to be punished. That's right. And then after that, the Lord, the Lord will judge them. It's, 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 family, it's all written in the book of Revelation 20. Hmm? The little season. The little season was referring to when they were reborn, rebirthed in the Renaissance. They came back in the between the 14 and 1500. Right? After Rome collapsed for the Western Roman Empire collapsed for a thousand years. That's right. But then the Bible says what? They will be what? They will be loose for a little season. That's the season that we are in right now. You see, the Lord set a bound for him, and that bound is here. He can't go past it. America, Babylon, the great Esau kingdom is about to be removed by the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai. So the Roosevelt was previously expected to deploy within the next few months to replace the USS Carl Vinson. But it seems this has come much earlier than expected without any kind of announcement or press release from the Navy. 
And the deployment is likely linked to rising tension in the Middle East following strike against the Houthis in Yemen as well as uh, sorry, as well as near Taiwan, where the pro-independence vice president had recently won the presidential election, causing anger within the Chinese government. That's right. So prepare yourself. This is it. This is the war to end all wars. Family, you can't expect anything less. You see, this is the introduction of Yahweh Shai. Our king, Yahweh Shai, is about to, intro to, about to be introduced to the whole world. You see, it has to be big. The creator of the heaven and the earth, Yahweh, is about to introduce his son officially to take over the kingdom. So you can't expect anything less. You see? So that's why this nation, this is how they're going to usher in Yahweh Shai. He's coming to meet them with what? He says what? He wished this place is already on fire. Let's go quickly to the book of uh, Yahweh Shai is, uh, is coming, is bringing fire. But he said he wished this place is already burning and it's going to be burning when he shows up. Hear what he says in the book of Luke 12. Eh? The Lord is not playing. If anybody tell you that the day of the Lord is going to be such a beautiful day, we're all going to be out there holding hands, singing Kumbaya, family run away from them. The day of the Lord is not a day that I said, woe to you who desire the day of the Lord. Eh? Eh? What is it to you? Because the day of the Lord, it is pure darkness, gloominess. 49, Luke 49. I'm going to read the NLT version, Yahweh Ratazar. It says here, Luke 49, uh, sorry, Luke 12, 49. It says, I have come to set the world on fire. Fine, this is what the Yahweh Shai is saying. He's coming to set the world on fire. Eh? And I wish it were already burning. That's what he said. Does this sound like it's going to be a good day? It's not, it's not going to be a good day for the nations. But the hopeful elect, oh yeah, family, we are... Lord willing, we are more than number. We are expecting deliverance. That's why we're given diligent to make our election sure. So that when the king shows up, he says, uh -huh, you, that's right, this is your ticket. Family, we, that's what we want from the Lord. Eh? That's what we want from the Lord. The elect family, the hopeful elect, but he says, put on us the elect. Okay, we say the hopeful elect to show humility. Eh? Let's get the next article, beloved. Yeah, so the Lord, uh, this place is going to be literally on fire when he shows up. Eh? He's going to be on fire. That's how he's going to, because Esau loved blood. The self-proclaimed white man, that's why it's all about blood. It's all about destruction and war. So Yahweh is bringing war to him. He gave him the sword. Yahweh blessed him. He was Isaac. He blessed him with the sword to take peace from the earth. So Yahweh is just literally coming to take the sword from his hand and then he's bringing peace. Because one of his titles is Shiloh. Shiloh means peace. Nobody, not Putin, not uh, what is it called, Erdogan, not uh, who is it called? I can't remember the South African president's name, eh? or uh, Biden, none of, none of the, or not Trump. Trump is talking about how the Lord sent him to, uh, to come and save the world. The Lord hates Esau Edom. Okay? Nobody's going to save this world by Yahweh Shai. It's coming. Okay? He's the one bringing the peace. None of the people that you are about to vote for for this 2024 election is going to bring peace. We're telling you, Yahweh Shai is the one bringing peace. And this is, is the kingdom that is coming to establish. But before that happens, there will be third world war. Yes, this world is going to be on fire. That's what Yahweh Shai said. If the king says it, family, those are take, you, can, you can bet your house on it. It's going to be on fire. So let's get the next one. Yet another war, Somalia versus Ethiopia. This came out yesterday. Somalia and Ethiopia are on the verge of war over dispute, disputed territory. The conflict is expected to commence in the coming days. The Arab League will hold an emergency meeting on the Ethiopia-Somalian conflict. A Turkish military air boss, one of several recently, was scheduled to arrive at Aden Adi International Airport in Somalia tonight. Sources say the government of Somalia is receiving weapons from Ankara, Turkey. Somalia is prepared to go to war to stop Ethiopia recognizing the breakaway territory of Somali Somalia land and building a port there. A senior advisor to Somalia's president has said, you see, the Lord Yahweh Shai says what? There will be what? Rumors of war. Must we get up? Let's go to the book of uh, Matthew. Matthew 24. Family, we all about prophecy. If you're expecting prosperity gospel, this is not for you, family. 
It says here, let's read the NLT version for a change. It says here, Matthew, Matthew 24, let's go red letter so you know who is speaking. The red letter is Yahweh Shai speaking, our king. You see, it says, it says here, um, later, Yahweh Shai sat on the Mount of Olives. His disciple came to him privately and said, tell us, when will all this happen? What sign will signal your return and the end of the world? Yahweh Shai told them, don't let anyone mislead you. For many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah. They will deceive many. And as the elect family, you know, you know how your Shai is coming. He's coming with thousands and thousands of ships. Okay? Nobody's going to tell you that, oh, I saw your Shai at Walmart. You know, and he's out there healing people. No, 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 family. No, the elect, no. That, you, you're not going to be deceived. Okay? You're not going to be deceived. All right? And you will hear of wars. Now, this is the time that we are living in. Yahweh Ratazah. Yahweh Ratazah. We pray that these things will escalate. Barakata Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem for mercy. And we pray that this thing will escalate faster and faster. 2024, like our beloved Apostle Toha uh, proclaim or declare, or uh, whatever word you want to use, that 2024 will be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And we pray that indeed it is Jacob's trouble because what? At the end, it says what? But Jacob shall be saved. That means Yahweh Shai is going to step in. He's going to raise a standard like he says in the book of, uh, I believe it's uh, Isaiah 59, 19 there. Okay? He's going to raise a standard for his people. He's going to step in and deliver his family. That time is fast approaching. He says here, and he says here, and you will hear of wars. That's happening right now. You have Ethiopia and Somalia ready to get it in. Eh? But don't panic. Yes, these things must take place. But the end won't follow immediately. You see? You see what? Nation will go to war against nation. It is coming. Family, it's already started. And kingdom against kingdom. And we're going to have the global south. And you're going to have the west. The west is going to be headed by America and NATO. They're going to go against Russia. As, uh, and Russia, uh, what is it called? Uh, and uh, uh, Iran and China. And this is the time. That, that's right. The global south against the west and kingdom against kingdom that's all coming it says here and kingdom against kingdom there will be famines that's why right. lack of food you're gonna go through your grocery stores and family not if if it's, if the price is not too high okay they will not be, if the price either the price is too high you can afford the food or there's nothing on the shelf you see this is what is about to happen and that's cause that's gonna cause farming and it's one thing for the food to be there, but if you can afford it, family, that's it. You're going to starve. This, this, these are the times that are coming. He said there will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. Look at this. Family, if this doesn't, this, this shows you that we are what? Living, look at this. Look at this. This is in Iceland. He says Iceland has been rocked by a fresh volcanic eruption. Look at this. A volcanic erupted in southwest Iceland early Sunday, sending lava flowing towards a nearby town for the second time in few weeks, authorities said. The eruption began north of the town of Grind, no, Grindavik, just before 8 a.m. And 8 a.m. UTC time, the Icelandic Met Meteorological Office said. The town was evacuated on Saturday as fears of an imminent eruption rose following multiple earthquakes in the area. You see, this is what the Lord is saying, telling you. It says nations will go to war against nations and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines, earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all oh, this is only the first of the birth pains and more to come. You see, the Lord told us what? These are the signs that we should be watching out for. Amen. Eh? Let's get the next one. So here, United Kingdom. This is coming from RT this morning. It says here, UK to send 2,000. Sorry, I said 2,000. 20,000 troops to NATO exercise. Tell me, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's, there's no such thing as military exercise. It's third world war. Okay, remember, it's going to be the global south, Russia and its ally, Ezekiel 38, and then America and NATO. Going at it, the valley of Jehoshaphat. 
Family, the Lord is not a man that should lie. That's why we're telling you, Apostle Peter, uh, sorry, Apostle Paul told you in 1 Thessalonians 5. And for you, it shouldn't come as a surprise. You are looking forward to these things. Eh? Looking forward to the war. Looking forward to the microchip that Esau is bringing. You say, Esau, hurry up already and implement this thing here. And we want to go home. Stop, stop, stop. You know, stop dragging your feet. Hmm? United Kingdom to send 20,000 troops to NATO exercise. The British military will take part in one of the bloc's biggest drills since the end of the Cold War. And that, do you think this is a drill? Let's read on. The United Kingdom is said to deploy around 20,000 service members, as well as modern warships and fighter jets to take part in a major NATO exercise amid rising tensions with Russia. The Defense Ministry in London has announced. In a statement on Monday, the ministry citing excerpts from speech to be delivered by Defense Secretary Grant Sharps said that, sorry, said that some 16,000 army troops along with tanks, artillery and helicopters will join other bloc members on the continent to participate in exercise steadfast, sorry, steadfast defender 20, 20 oh, sorry, let me, let me repeat this again. Say, will join other bloc members, meaning the NATO members, on the continent to participate in exercise Steadfast Defender 24, scheduled to take place in the first half of this year. The effort will be supported by eight warships and submarines, as well as 22,000 Royal Navy sailors. The UK will also deploy a number of aircraft including the F-35B Lightning Fighters and Poseidon PA Surveillance Aircraft, the ministry said. Family, this is like music to our ears, man. Okay? And we hope that this is the year. And we hope that this is the year. Eh? We hope that this is the year. Let's go on to, um, let's bring another article. It says here, Germany, sorry, German troops welcome. This is from RT also. German troops welcome to march into Poland, official says. Berlin forces haven't been deployed on Polish soil since Hitler invaded in 1939. Poland is prepared to host Germany troops on its territory for the first time since World War II. Deputy Foreign Minister, I'm just going to call him or her, Z, uh, Z told the, oh man, this are some res, what is that? RZ, Rezak Pospolita family. I'm just going to, let's say the deputy foreign minister, Andre, eh, told the newspaper on Sunday, how about that? Eh, statement marked a dramatic break from his pre predecessor, who swore that it will be seven generations before German boots march in Poland again. Shortly after Russia sent its forces into Ukraine in 2022, German then ambassador to Warsaw, Freytag von Loringoven, Penn and Oped suggested suggesting a permanent transfer of troops to Poland to reinforce NATO presence in the east of the country. Poland conservative government shut down the idea. Long story short, his family, everybody is preparing for Russia. That's right. You see, it's all about dividing Russia. Russia, like I said, is a huge country. Over 11 different time zones, family. 11 different time zones. That's how big Russia is. Eh? And Russia is full of resources. Because we know that these devil. America and the West, they can never have enough. Like the book says in the book of uh, Micah 2, Micah chapter 2 verse 2 says, And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them eh, away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. That's what they've done all over the world. That's what Esau, self-proclaimed white man, has done. Taking land that don't belong to him because of the resource. Because you see where you are holding the gun, right? That's the sword. The sword, that's their blessing. That's what the Lord blessed them with. That's Esau, Edom. Eh? And the red horse is the same group of people. That's right. The Edomite, Esau, their blessing was the sword. That's why you can never outshoot them. 
That's their blessing. And it's the Lord that's going to remove it from them. The Lord gave them the sword to what? To, to pillage, to rape, to take the resources of the, of the land. Eh? He said, by thy sword thou shalt live. This is their blessing. And the law of family taking things that don't belong to them. Eh? Because they are vagabond. They haven't been punished yet. But the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Eh? So Isaiah 63 is coming, fast approaching. Hmm? Isaiah 63, the first four precepts in Isaiah 63. Oh, family, read that. Oh, yes, it's about his coming, to his entering the house of the thief. That's Esau Edom. He says here, and they covered field eh? and take them by violence. Actually, family, let's read that. Let's read. I read that already, but let's read the NLT. What does it say? It says here, when you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. Yes. They say, yeah, the family. Yes, right. They find a way to seize it. Either they, they create, they, 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 they destabilize your government. Eh? They have a coup, right? They send a CIA in family. So the next thing you know, you're both fighting each other. And there's a coup in your country. They remove your leader. They put in a puppet government and family. Let the game begin. They started raping you and taking your resources. That's what they do. And that's what Esau does. America. They came when they came here. Who was here? Who was living on the land? The northern tribe. What did they do, family? All the treaties that they signed with the northern tribe, God, Reuben, fam, they didn't keep any of it. Eh? Rather, what did they do? Fam, they pushed them into reservation and took over the land. That's what they do. It says, when you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. When you want someone's house, you take it by fraud and violence. You cheat a man of his property, stealing his family's inheritance. Who does that? The, nobody, no other nation does it but what? Esau Edom. The white man. He, that's what he called himself today. But his biblical name is Esau. And Esau's name was changed to Edom. And he's been exposed right now. He can't hide anymore. Eh? And this is what this also caught my eye this morning when I was looking at my news feed. It said, will the gates of hell open in the Middle East? Yes, the gates of hell is about to open because it's prophecy. But I'm going to go through this year. This is uh, the last uh, page here. It's a long article, family. It's a long article, but just, I just want to hit uh, a few. Uh, it says, are the gates of hell opening? Yes, the hate gates of hell are coming. Because this is Yahweh Shai is coming. Family, Yahweh Shai is coming. And you don't expect anything less. Family, we want like fireworks. And the king of kings, the lord of lords. You know how long we've been waiting for Yahweh Shai? Eh? We're waiting to see. This is how he's making his entrance. He said the continued Houthi attacks on ships demonstrated the ineffectiveness of Operation the Guardian of Prosperity. Operation Guardian of Prosperity. That's wrong. I think it's, a, it's called Prosperity Guardian. That's, how, that's, that's the coalition that they formed. And most of the countries said, no, we don't want to take part in this. The, the, word operation, the, guard, the sorry, Prosperity Guardian was created to allow this so-called G7 countries to allow their ship to, you know, to almost like patrol the Red Sea to prevent the Houthis from shooting them down. And majority of the nations said, no, 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 we don't want to take that chance. So America is right now holding the bag. It goes to show you the time that we are living in. Nobody trusts America anymore. His own allies are abandoning her. You see, her own allies are abandoning her. It shows you that you don't play with the Lord. You see, you don't play with the Lord. You see, he builds you up and you become so big that you think you are the most powerful nation in the world. Nobody can bring you down. And the Lord systematically started taking you apart. And that's what you are looking at. That's why it's better to fear the Lord and walk in humility. Always walking in humility. Okay? That's right. The Lord loves a humble heart. But, America, like, uh, but Esau, Esau doesn't know that. Esau is proud. The white man, oh, he is proud. Nobody can bring me down. Yeah, look at me. I look at my military bases all over the world. Yeah, look. No, 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 no. The Lord is about to humble you. Okay? And he's sending his beloved son, our king. The one you ignorantly call Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. And he's not, by the way, he's not blue eyes, he's not blonde hair, he's not, he's not pale skin. He's so-called black man. And he's dark skin. He tells you, he gave you his description, uh, Revelation 1.15. Go and do a little bit of research. Just put it in Google. What does a bent brass look like? 
If his feet is bent brass, I would say that the entire body is also it's a color of bent brass. Okay, so look it up. All right. And he is he says this world is going to be on fire when he shows up to deliver the children of Israel. All right. He says here. Uh, the, he, the continual Houthi attacks on ships demonstrated the ineffectiveness, ineffective effectiveness of Operation Guardian of Prosperity. And it's supposed to be uh, op, op, Operation Prosperity Guardian. But he reversed it, okay? Clashes with American warships could not go un, unanswered as this would undermine the image of the U.S. Navy and create an unpleasant precedent. President, sorry. It is for this reason, most likely, that the decision was made to launch missile strike on, on Ansar Allah position in Yemen. The coalition tried to intimidate the Houthis and stop their Red Sea attacks by demonstrating force. Family, we just told you. They just hit another ship right now. It's on fire in the Red Sea. So that did it work? It didn't work. Eh? But let's continue. But it is already clear that this only further escalated the conflict in the region and the conflict in Gaza. Operation Guardian of Prosperity could have the opposite effect and expand the territory and participants of the conflict in the Middle East. Even when announcing the start of the multinational operation, a number of participants discussed the possibility of a ground invasion of Yemen. Saudi Arabia, based on its bitter experience of involvement in the Yemeni civil war, warned against such actions as an invasion would only exacerbate the situation. Riyadh, along with Abu Dhabi and Doha, which provided their airspace for U.S. and British aircraft for the attacks on January 12th, are concerned that the Houthis may begin to attack Western bases and oil depots on their territory. And family, that's right. It is not ending. It's only going to escalate. All right. Which one is this? Did I miss it? Oh, yeah. The same thing. Yeah. So family, the Lord is moving on our behalf. Okay. The Lord is moving on our behalf. Let's finish with, uh, let's go to the book of, uh, let's go to Isaiah 34. Isaiah, I've just fit a few, uh, a few precepts there in Isaiah 34. We're going to wrap this up. So the Lord is coming, family. The Lord is coming. I know we keep saying that, but the Lord is coming. You see, prepare. Prepare your heart. Chaos is coming. Tribulation is coming. But family, the Lord got, he got all provisions. He got everything covered. Eh? He got everything covered for us. He said, the most high is wrath against the nations. You hear that? This is how he's going to judge them while in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Eh? He says here, the most high, the powers wrath against the nations. Who told you that the Lord is all about love? No, man. That's the nonsense that they fed you in plantation Christianity. But we thank the Lord that he pulled us out of it. Eh? It says, come near, ye nations, to hear and hearken. Ye people, let the earth hear. And all that is there in the world and all things that come forth of it. Eh? These nations have become so proud that they didn't think it was the Most High Yahweh and His only Son that created the heaven and the earth and everything. Then they disregard the laws; they cast the law behind them, and they're telling you that it is okay to do whatever your heart desire, worship whatever you, your heart desire, love whoever you want to love. You wake up this morning and then you see a beautiful dog out there. You want to marry that dog? You can marry that dog. That's what they push in the West bestiality all type of wickedness that's what goes on now the lord is telling his son to come and clean house that's what yahweh is coming to do he's coming to clean house and establish righteousness on this planet here and that's what we are looking forward to eh? nobody's going to do it not trump not biden not putin not the brick system the one that's coming to establish a righteous kingdom is yahweh shai he says here it says, for the indignation, the righteous anger of the Lord is upon all nations. Eh? Let's look up that word indignation quickly. Indignation, what is the Hebrew word for indignation? Strong's H7110. Ketsef. 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 Mm -hmm. Wrath, anger. Mm? That's what it means. That's what is coming. Wrath, anger. That's why Yahweh Shai said it in the book of Luke 12, uh, 49. He says he wished the world is already on fire, but the world will be on fire when he shows up because he's coming to join the party in the midst of Third World War. Eh? That's what is coming. Yahweh Shai is coming. 
It doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. You know, like Apostle Paul said it clearly. What if some don't believe it? You know what I mean? Should their unbelief make the word of the Most High non-effect? <laughs> it will still happen. It doesn't matter whether you... What, what is written in the Bible, that's what's going to happen. Okay, how about that? Eh? How about that? It says here, For the indignation of the Lord Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is upon all nations. And his fury upon all their armies, the Russian army, the, the Iranian army, the Turkish army, every nation and their army in this third world war, Yahawashah is going to have a piece of it. Oh, yeah, 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 family. And, and his fury upon all their armies, he have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. I love that. Slaughter. That's what the Lord is coming. The Yahawashah is not coming to, no. He's bringing thousands and thousands of angels in the craft. Esau calls them UFOs. And he's coming to level all these nations and their army and establish his kingdom. He's delivering his elect, coming down. That's why the new Jerusalem is going to take over the entire world and establish righteousness under our king. That is what is coming. He said, they are slain. Listen to this. They are slain. The kill and shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. You see, that sounds like Yahawashah is coming to play with you. He's coming to sit around and says, okay, listen, man, pass the ice cream. You know, pass me a Bud Light. No, 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 no. Listen to this. He said, they are dead. They are dead. I'm just reading the NLT. He said, they are dead will be left unburied and the stench of rotten bodies will fill the land. The mountains will flow with their blood. If this doesn't put fear in you, family, I don't know what's going to put fear in you. We hope that the Lord will save us, protect us from, from, from all the chaos that is coming. Eh? The Lord is coming to lay the land waste. That is what is coming. He's not joking. And I'm going to leave it there, beloved. I hope you are edified. And this should just continue to family. Family, put a smile on your face. Because we know that our condition right now is only temporary. Whatever we're going through, family, whether it's at work, at home, eh? difficulties making the bills, eh? Family, it is temporary. There's a light coming. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yahawashah is bringing it. Yahawashah is about to change our fortunes. All right? That's why we do this lesson, to encourage you to continue to believe in this message. And continue to believe in this message. Yahawashah is coming. There's nothing anybody can do about it. He's coming to establish his first, to deliver his elect. And then family is bringing destruction upon this earth. And then he's going to establish his righteous kingdom. And there will be no more war. No more sadness. No more sickness. Eh? That's right. You, when you see a man walking down the street, you know that it's a man. It's not a woman. There ain't going to be no confusion in Yahawashah's kingdom. All that is associated with Esau. He's all about confusion. Eh? But no, Yahawashah's kingdom, pure righteousness. And that's what is coming. So, beloved, I'll leave it there. I hope you were edified. Again, all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Yahawah, and our beloved king, Yahawashah. Shalom.